Digging in the trash in Stardew Valley. We've all done it. But could you play the game doing only that? How much money could you make? What would Linus think? What skills could you develop? Let's find out. To begin with, there are a total of eight trash cans in Pelican Town. I'm not certain what everyone else does with their trash, but this is what we're dealing with. After delving into day one's garbage, I spoke to Linus, my now closest confidant in this challenge. I added a new Linus dialogue mod to further my fellow trash friend and I's relationship. Additionally, what sparked this challenge was a mod that develops an all new binning skill. Each level up helps us towards our goal of trash drops and rare items. Day two, I cleared some of the farm to make a chest for my collection of trash trinkets that I will be selling at the end of this video. You in this town will understand my way of life, so I was forced to keep my tendencies on the down low when others were around. After this incident with Mayor Lewis, I decided that leaving the farm before anyone else had awoken would be in my best interest, and that I would be digging in Mayor Lewis's trash much more ferociously than before. People are quick to judge. It is a shame. It's hard to change that perception once it's taken root. How do you view me, best friend? Find joy in the small things, farmer. Day 8 supplied me with several Joja Colas, much more than I'd been receiving previously. In the end, I upgraded to level 3 binning, which increased trash drop rate and rewarded me a chance to get rare drops. Day 12 and I was beginning to get more consistent items. I stored them in my ever-growing chest and achieved level 4 binning. Day 14 was when I realized how brutal this was going to be to reach level 10 binning. But I couldn't give up now, not when my best friend Linus was counting on me. He just liked me for real. Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? Absolutely not. No, it's a shame. Thanks, Jolie. I knew you were an open-minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. Yeah, we're not harming anyone. On day 20, I was given a cat of my own and lovingly named it after my favorite thing. Marnie may not have understood, but at the very least, she respected it. I finally reached level 5 binning, which allowed me two options. Be a recycler with cheaper recycling machine crafting costs or a skill I had already perfected at this point. Fate was on my side as I had all the materials I needed to make the recycling machine just for my trash collection. So I built the machine and began converting all my recyclables into more valuable resources. By day 22, I did notice I was getting increasingly rare drops, at least rare for what I was getting from the literal trash. Summer began and I found a Wombus poster for my house. Upgrades people, upgrades. Then, level 6 binning. I had high hopes for my future in the trash industry, and I was making great strides with my pal Linus. I was hoping he'd come by sometime. I come by literally all the time, literally every day. Day five of summer, and I had now filled my first chest with my assortment of goods. And with that, had reached level seven binning. Oh, level seven. At this point, I was getting new items from the bins every day now. Day 9, I crafted a new chest with the intention to fill it before winter. The luau arrived and I settled on a nice catfish to feed the town, which honored me with a good response. Unexpected from the trash farmer. I mean, I did technically get that catfish from the garbage, but they don't have to know that. Day 13, I got another poster, a sign of hope for trash dwellers everywhere but you need not go shopping for whimsical decor. Nature provides. The only thing I had been spending my starter money on was processing geodes, with some decent results from time to time. Linus continued to keep me company. Rich, poor, old, young, did you enjoy life? Those who have everything are often miserable, those with little, happy. Myself, I'm happy to be here in the now, talking with you, Jolie. By late summer, I found more rare items and more posters, just in time for my favorite event. The moonlit jellies. I'll just sneak up when the jellies arrive. I don't want to bother anyone. I'll bother them for you. To kick off autumn, I reached level 8 binning and 10 hearts with Linus, my beloved. 
that's very nice of you, but no thanks. I've had great luck foraging today. On the trash cans, I already took care of that. Garbage farmers. We're doing well on our own. We don't need to team up. You know I consider you my closest friend in the valley. You've never tried to fix me. You respect my way of life, even if you- Even if I don't understand it? I understand it. Completely, Linus. Really appreciate that. I don't appreciate you disregarding my interests. By day 9 of autumn, I was consistently getting rare trash drops, including a fourth poster. It was time for the Stardew Valley Fair, and I spared no expense with my enviable collection of items. I had low expectations, but still secured second place. But the trash cans were inaccessible. Oh. By the end of autumn, I had finally achieved level 10 binning, and an upgrade for my recycling machines. After selling my hard-earned garbage pile, I earned roughly 10k gold, which was nothing compared to the trash's worth in my heart. Thank you for watching! Would you ever dedicate several hours of your life that you can never get back to digging in video game garbage? Let me know in the comments! Until next time!